Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on this video saying I subscribed. Let's get into it. The Indian Ministry of Defense published a request for information for the procurement of 110 fighter jets for the Indian Air Force, and the original equipment manufacturers have to submit their responses by 6 July 2019. The manufacturers are expected to specify which systems can be installed on their jets, and provide a list of sensors and other systems that could be integrated into the aircraft. India seeks a multi-role fighter jet that can provide air superiority and air defense, and it should be capable to perform air-to-surface and maritime operations, conduct reconnaissance operations and engage in high electronic environments. The Russian MiG-35 had not yet been mass-produced, and is not in service with the Russian Air Force, but it has undergone dramatic changes, and is completely in line with the requirements set by the Indian Air Force. Russia is ready to supply combat-ready aircraft, and has also offered to transfer all the necessary technology and documentation to partner companies contracted to produce the fighters in India. Russia has decided to work with Hindustan Aeronautics as its strategic partner, if India selects the MiG-35 or Su-35 fighter jets. The French aircraft manufacturer Dassault Aviation will present its Rafale fighter jet, Lockheed Martin will be presenting its enhanced F-16 Block 70, the European Consortium will present a much improved version of its Eurofighter Typhoon fighter jet, Boeing will present its F-A-18 Super Hornet Block 3 with its increased combat radius and new EW suite, and Swedish firm Saab will present its Gripen, with a more powerful thrust system and new avionics, and the only cause of concern is that 30% of its parts are produced in the US. According to latest reports, the Israeli aerospace industries has agreed with India's Ministry of Defense, for the sale of 50 Heron unmanned aerial vehicles for $500 million. The Heron is a medium-altitude long-endurance drone capable of performing strategic and tactical missions. It can carry a payload of up to 470 kilograms, with an endurance of more than 45 hours, and has a flight range of 350 kilometers. According to latest reports, the DRDO has successfully tested its quick reaction surface-to-air system from a defense base today. The homegrown canister-based high-speed system can deceive enemy radar systems, making it difficult to be detected, and can counter multiple targets at a distance of 25 kilometers in less than one minute. The quick reaction surface-to-air system is expected to supplement the Akash medium-range surface-to-air system. According to latest reports, the air-launched BrahMos system developed by the Indo-Russian joint venture BrahMos Aerospace, is likely to be inducted with the Indian Air Force in early 2020. The air-launched BrahMos system is set to begin its final developmental or certification trials in the third quarter of 2019, and its induction will begin immediately, after two certified launches against a naval and a ground target are carried out. India and Argentina have reached some sort of agreement, which will allow both countries to collaborate in the development of the trainer jet, which will be largely based on the IA-63 Pampa trainer jet. Defense analysts have said, that the Argentine aircraft manufacturer has been struggling to keep the program alive, and till now has an initial contract for only three aircraft. The Indian Air Force has a requirement for nearly 80 intermediate jet trainers for its Stage 2 training program, and if the aircraft is manufactured in India, it might get most of the avionics from the HJT-36 Sitara program, and even might be powered by the Russian-supplied NPO Saturn engines which are licensed produced in India.